Welcome to Selenium Master Selenium Python WebDriver video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to create HTML test result report in your Selenium Python WebDriver test automation. In previous video tutorial, I explained how to create HTML test report using Python script. In this video tutorial, I use an existing test case script and write the test result to a HTML file. Now let's look at the file structure. So in this test, I use the existing test cases I explained in previous video tutorials. For example, when testing Mahara ePortfolio site, I added two test cases. One is users should be able to change license and users should be able to change maximum tags. So in this test report, I have two tests corresponding to the test cases for Mahara demo site and I have two empty tests. And three tests passed, so the background is green and one test failed, so the background is yellow. And this table contains all the tests in the test framework. So the corresponding columns in this table are test ID, test case name, action, expected result, actual result, pass fail, and test node. If the test passes, then the report will indicate the pass status with the green color. And if the test fails, the background color of the test report is yellow. So now let's look at the actual test report Python script. So in this test result utility, I created a report object and the test report is a string. So report string is none. So when I initialize the class, self.report string is empty. So I defined few messages. Write report header. This header defined the HTML file structure. Create a table. Add a first row with table header. Test ID, test case, action, expected result, actual result, pass fail, and test node. So in the second method, append to result, append to report. So test ID, test case, action, expected result, actual result, pass fail, and test node. So depending on the pass fail node, if the test result contains pass, then the color is green. For the color code is 33CC33, this is green. And if it's not passed, then the color code is yellow. By using the effective string concatenation, I just keep adding the each test result into the string. Then third method is write report footer. So this footer will include the close tag for the table that contains all the test case information and HTML file body and this is HTML tag. So once the report footer is over, then write to a file. We write a test result to a file. So using the file object. For actual explanation of this script, you can watch the previous video tutorial. Now let's look at how we use this test result utility in actual test framework.
So Selenium Python test framework with report. I have already explained this test script. So in this test script, I use Python unit test framework with the test runner. So now let's look at how we use the test result utility. So from test result utility, import report. Because report is the actual class object. So now on the setup method at the class level, uh, class method, I define self.report equals report. So initialize and create one instance of the report. Then self.report.write report header. So we create a report header. Then this is a Chrome instance and maximize window. So here I don't explain other steps. For actual test steps, uh, please watch the previous video tutorials. So in the setup method, I did not add any report for the setup method, but you can add a report if you want to. So in the first test, test change maximum tags in cloud. So for this test, I added a test report. So I use a try and a catch statement. So try statement is try asserting that the maximum tags in the cloud is changed to 30 in this test. So if it is true, then self.report.append to test. We append the test result to the table. So this is the first uh, test ID, test name, action, and number of number should be 30 and actual number. And this is a pass statement and this note is empty. And if this test fails, then for the same report, self.report.append to report, then for this one, in the catch statement, the test should fail. So instead of passing pass, we pass the fail statement here. So this will catch any failure. And in the second test, test change default license. So for this test, I added the test report self.report.append to report, then this test ID, test case, the action, and expected test, this is actual test result, and this line is pass and empty, and if the test fails, so we add in this line, we add a fail. So now I have two other empty tests. So I just add pretty simple test report. So self that report that append to test test ID 003. This empty test, empty test, empty test, and this test pass. And for another empty test, I marked the test as fail. So for each test, I have added the test report. And for teardown method, I did not add anything. So on the class method, so once all tests are done, then this is self.report.writer, write report footer, and then create file. So now let's um, change this file. Mahara test result report, let's change it to uh, because I have already created Mahara test result report file. So for demo purpose, I added the number two here. Now I save this. Now in the main script, we run the test in this order. So first test change default license and maximum tag. And empty test one, this is empty test two. 
and we run the test. Now let's run the test and see the test result. So again, using the command line script, I can run the test. This is Python, Selenium Python test framework with report. This is the file. Now I hit enter. Now let's observe how the test runs. This is second test. Okay. This is the third test, empty test. And this is the last test. Okay. So all tests are completed. So we ran four tests in 25 seconds. And this is the um, test result. Now let's look at the test result report. Here, this file is test Mahara test uh, result report 2. I guess there is a typo here, but that's fine. I copy this file, control C, and let's uh, open the uh, file here. So control V, hit enter. And this file is created. So this is the order, license change, and uh, maximum tag is empty test. Now this is empty test. So now let's change um, this file for another uh, test result. Let's say we fail the test number three. So here, I move this file to another screen. Let's say uh, for the empty test one, instead of doing pass, I add a fail, then this line should be yellow and Mahara test um, result report 3. Let's make it 3. Now I save it and run this test again. So here, let's um, run this test again. Hit enter. And then let's observe the result. So first test. Now this is the second test. Okay, so run four tests in 25 seconds and test result is okay. Now let's look at the test result file. Because here we name the file as Mahara test result report three. So I copy this string or file name and open this file in the browser. So control V. So now, as you see on the screen, we have uh, two cases failed and the background color is yellow. So as explained in this video tutorial, you can always write test result to an external file. In this example, I used HTML file format, so you can also create a file uh, for Excel format or other formats. To summarize, on class level setup, you define one instance of report object and write header. And for each test, using try cache statement, in the try statement, you write pass for the assertion and if any exception raise then you can mark the test fail and in the plus level teardown method you write the header uh, footer and then you write the test result to an external file 
So this is how you create test result file in your Selenium Python web driver script. If you have any questions regarding this video tutorial, you can always visit seleniummaster.com website for instructional article or you can send email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.